Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through my favorite elements from PureNet add-ons for Elementor. And the good thing about this Elementor extension or add-on is that it has a number of unique features like a form builder which has a lot more functionalities. You can build repeater fields, mount level and nested fields, register and login forms, you can create multi-step forms, you can connect your forms to Google Sheets, you can do a lot more other things and on top of that you have a lot more other extensions for example like the Ajax Live Chat, Pop-Up Trigger and a lot more so I'm basically going to take you through my favorite. So to get started you have to be logged into your WordPress website and come straight here to plugins and we are going to add a plugin called PureNet Add-ons for Elementor and right here you have to search for PureNet Add-ons and right here it will pop up i've already installed it and activated on my website so the same you'll have to do and once you activate it on your website it will show up down here on the left hand side menu so when i click over there it will open up and this is how it looks like so these are the enabled features that come in the free version and these that are having pro those are features that will only be enabled once you get the pro version or PureNet add-ons for Elementor. In case you consider getting the pro version or PureNet add-ons for Elementor, I kindly request that you use my affiliate link that I'm going to leave down in the description below that whereby if you use it you're not charged an extra buck but I receive a small commission on a purchase that you make. That aside, let's get started. So first we are going to look into the gradient option whereby we can create gradient text and gradient buttons on our Elementor website. First what you have to do is to have a page or post where you want to use the PureNet add-ons for Elementor or whereby you are actually going to use the Elementor editor. So in this case I'll open up a page here, da -da -dum. the about with Elementor. I have a button here already created. So what I'm going to do is I'm just first going to duplicate this button, duplicate the button. And what I'm going to do, since I already have PureNet add-ons for Elementor activated in my website, I'll simply click over here and then come over to style. And I'll scroll just down here and then I'll say perfect gradient button. When I click on that, I have to enable it. And once I enable it, you'll see, boom. We have our gradient show up here, which is looking pretty nice. And now we can make a couple of changes, like from the color to a different color that we want to have right there. See how that looks like. You can change the location of one of the colors. You can change the for the other also. You can even change the angle of your gradient. I think this looks nice and even on hover you can do the same that when someone hovers over your button they'll say something a little bit different let me see what this has for us and right here we can choose something like this you see how that is looking pretty nice so you can create these gradient buttons in Elementor if you have PureNet add-ons for Elementor and this comes actually in the free version. It doesn't have to be specifically with a unique button. Let me just show you. Uh, if you've been using Elementor for a while, grab your button element, place it where you want it and you can simply copy. I'm going to copy this and then I'll paste the style of this other button on this one. So boom, now you see we have these two buttons having the same style. So that's how you can actually create gradient buttons in Elementor for free. Next, we are going to create gradient text in Elementor. You must have PureNet add-ons for Elementor installed and activated, and then you have your text anywhere. It can be any text widget that you grab from over here. I'll come over here to our title, and we have it selected. You can make changes to the title the way you want, but in this case, we are going to apply a gradient. So by coming to style, come to perfect gradient text, and right here if you enable that boom you have this right here now you can still make changes to your gradient text the way you want once you make changes to the color to what you want see how that looks like and down here maybe we can say uh, 
see how that looks like and you have your buttons and then you have your text so i'll simply delete this and i'll also delete this you see how that looks like really beautiful i love this i think i love this that's how you can actually create gradient text and gradient patterns in Elementor using the Parfait add-on for Elementor or PureNet add-ons for Elementor. Next, we are going to look into something called the pop-up trigger. The pop-up trigger is a feature that comes in PureNet add-ons for Elementor that enables you to use a custom URL to actually access a pop-up at a particular section of your WordPress website. Once you have the pro version of PureNet add-ons for Elementor, what you have to do is simply to create your pop-up. Once you finish creating your pop-up, for example, when you come over here to templates, pop-ups, so you simply create your pop-up. And once you create that pop-up of yours, you'll have here a short code. And right here, you'll be given the options to create a URL for that specific pop-up, which is right here. You see from here, the demo, it shows you'll have this kind of URL to open the pop-up, to close the pop-up and to toggle the pop-up. So you'll simply just copy this URL and paste it anywhere you want in your Elementor website. So that once someone comes over to that pop-up, they simply just click on any element section or button and that pop-up will show up. Next is the Ajax Live Search, which I think is a feature which can really help out people who are running big e-commerce or even blogging websites whereby people have to use the search to research for resources. When you have your net add-ons for Elementor Pro, you have the possibility to actually add this Ajax Live search and then you can do custom settings on that search. For example, you can choose the post type. In this case, it can be country, they can be posts, they can be whatever resources you want someone to access via the search and here you can do your custom styling for your ajax search from the background the inner text style and all these other styling for that specific widget even if you're running a small website but you want people to access a specific feature on your website by via a search you can simply do that for example here you can search for a specific country or you can simply enter enter like three figures and it will automatically suggest a country that has those figures all those elements in the search next we are going to look into the form builder which i think is one of the most advanced form builders within the elementor community for example here you can use elementor sections or inner sections to make repeater sub repeater and any elementor widgets for example here you have something called the acceptance repeater you can either choose the option to show them or not to show them so in this case, once you show that specific section, someone has the possibility to choose between the different options, the price here, and then they can even add quantity of that specific element or option that they choose. If someone doesn't want anything like that, you can simply deactivate that option. And then we can go to the next section like for the drinks. But if someone wants to check all of them, they can simply just enable that, select the option that they want, then the quantity and then they go to the next option maybe here they want uh, drink type 2 and then they want the quantity to be 2 or 3 or 4 then the price will automatically come in this case this can work for someone who is looking up for uh, building a multi-step nested form for for example a restaurant whereby you want your clients to easily order things from eats to drinks and maybe even salads so you can do that with this add-on or element from PureNet add-ons for Elementor. And then here you're in position to actually show the total amount of money someone will be able to pay. Or even you can add another sub-repeater or nested form whereby someone can actually book more other things using that same uh, form. And a lot more options you can add. And at the end, you're also in position to embed a payment form whereby someone can pay to you or your business using their cards. This is made possible because also PureNet Adsons for Elementor enables you to easily integrate Stripe payments which accepts card into your WordPress and Elementor website. That is only when you have PureNet Adsons for Elementor Pro installed and activated. And of course, there are so many other forms you can build using PureNet Adsons for Elementor like this WooCommerce Checkout calculated fields plus conditional logic, plus WooCommerce checkout, whereby you can design packages based on what someone wants. For example, if someone wants a, 
a 5 to 10 page website and their daily visitors are about 2500 here they automatically choose a hosting plan based on what you have already set and here it will show them a total that they will be having to pay and then here they will check out with WooCommerce. Next we will look into the mount step form. Mount step form is a way you can actually enable someone to choose an option that that option will lead them to another option and it will give them more options within that same option. I don't know if this really makes sense, but this is how it works like. For example, if I want to book a vacation to Thailand, I'll simply select Thailand only, or I want to select all of them, but no, I only want to go to Thailand, then I'll say next. You see here it's showing from step one, now I'm up, now I'm at step two, and here I would say maybe I want to get culture and local life, or rest and relaxation then i'll say next and automatically here it will ask me for my names my email and all the necessary info that you'll include here that is in case you have someone who has a travel agency or basically an agency that organizes packages for visitors or people traveling for holidays you can do something like this it can be totally different from this business idea but i hope you get the idea of what this multi-step form does and here they will have even the option either to go back to make some changes or simply just go next and then they can send in that information and probably it will come to your email or to some kind of form that you have also set up in the back end whereby you can easily follow up with your clients next is also the stripe payment which i've already talked about the Stripe payment is basically a simple way of form that you can use to embed within your Elementor website to simply collect payments from your website visitors. And the good thing here, already Piotnet add-ons for Elementor has made a tutorial about this that you'll just come over here and then probably watch and see how to do that. But in a nutshell, it is basically a form just like this where you add your card number and then here you'll be in position to add your uh, expiry date for your card number and this is how it looks like it is basically like the normal elements that you simply drag into your normal elementor canvas just like here you'll be in position to either enable that form to start working and then you have to select your favorite currency in which you want to collect your payments and then here you'll choose the kind of product that person is paying for and then you can include all the other fields that you want to collect information from so that when someone makes the payment here you will be in position to easily follow up for what, what they are paying for when and why at the end of the day you'll be in position to have set up your website to collect payments using basically a simple elementor add-on in this case simply a stripe extension within PureNet add-ons for elementor last but not the least is the google sheet connector what you simply have to do is get the perfect form google sheets connector element into your elementor website and then you basically enable it then go to google sheets create that sheet and then get the sheet id then you simply enter in here your sheet id and then here you'll be in position to add a number of items that you want to collect from your elementor website of which that data will be sent to your google sheets form and like you see right here you can collect from names emails birthdays and a lot more other things. That's a simple way you can actually connect your Elementor website to your Google Sheets so that when someone enters information on your website, it is automatically sent to your Google Sheets. And the beauty is that Piotnet add-ons for Elementor already has also a tutorial on that that you can actually check out here in the video. And of course, there are so many other interesting features from Piotnet add-ons for Elementor like the register and login form. You can actually create these using Piotnet add-ons for Elementor and you can choose on how your visitors are going to log in into your WordPress website and where their data will be saved. There is actually also a video on that right here that you can also check out anytime that you want. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it brought you value, consider hitting the like button. And if you're new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.